Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hey, thank you so much for staying with me this morning. You know I've had a great lineup, but you know I got one of my favorites, Andrea Smith. I think she's one of the smartest technology people. So she's here to tell us about the CES, which is virtual this year. Yeah, they still got those gadgets and gizmos, but it's virtual, and Andrea going to break it down for us. Andrea, welcome back to the Valder BB Show in 2021. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Valder. All right. Tell us about the small devices. I love it when you do do the CES because they're things I can really relate to. I can do the big products, but these are things I'm going to probably run out and buy. Well, I know. So so first, you know, for your audience to understand, CES is, is really where we, the, the industry and the media, get to have a look at everything that's going to be coming out in the year ahead. All the things that you and I are going to be talking about next December on those holiday wish lists. And this is where we can get a little bit of the trend. Now, as you would imagine, the trends are different this year. We still have those big, fabulous 8K smart TVs. But since 2020 was the year that our homes kind of became our offices and our classrooms and our movie theaters, Tech companies like Samsung really took notice and are designing products so that, you know, to help us in our everyday lives do all of this. Uh, the new Galaxy Chromebook 2 combines Samsung's already impressive hardware with Google's Chrome operating system in a compact, lightweight two in one device with an affordable price tag. The Galaxy Chromebook 2 has a 13.3 inch QLED display with quantum dot panels that produce over a billion colors. This is the first time a Chromebook gets this panel, uh, this display, and it is just perfect for doing your schoolwork, getting your office work done, and then, of course, consuming entertainment. I like that. And I don't want to throw you off, but do you think that the Consumer Electronics Show, and I think you've said this, they have pivoted to the trend of working at home? Absolutely. You're really seeing a lot more devices like these these ones from Samsung. You know, companies really understand this is what we're doing. You know, people, everyone needs a device now. So Samsung's putting all these smarts into it and making it more affordable. Um, another, another trend that we're seeing, an area we're seeing growth in is health and wellness. Again, being at home. This is a year where so many of us are you know, maybe missing dentist visits and taking care of our oral health at home. So we've got the Oral B I O electric toothbrush that gives you that professional clean feel every day. It removes 100% more plaque than a manual toothbrush, teaches you how to brush more effectively. There's a smart pressure sensor that lets you know when you're brushing too hard and a timer tells you when you've hit the recommended two minute mark. Yes, you need to brush for two minutes. It's a great example of technology helping consumers take control of their health. Now, the other thing we're seeing is auto tech, a real push for safety and security. That's why dash cams have become so popular. Nextbase makes uh, dash cams that protect drivers by recording the road ahead, providing detailed 4K HD video footage. Their 622 GW dash cam comes with enhanced night vision and extreme weather mode to capture those critical details on dark or foggy roads. And there's hands-free Alexa built in and for some extra peace of mind, an emergency SOS feature. And when you're not driving, parking mode automatically records any bump to your vehicle. I love that. Can't wait for the toothbrush, but you know, I can't hardly see at night driving anymore. I need a dash cam. I got, I can't <laughs> wait for that one to come my way. Lots of cool stuff this year. It's just that we're getting to see it a little differently. Well, I, I, I'm so glad that you're there to give us a bird's eye view. I think you'll be back sometime this week. But in the meantime, how do we, can we get a, can we virtually go to the CES? Unfortunately, it's still just open to trade, industry, partners, media. But I do know that some of the bigger companies um, are making their press conferences available online. So these are these are pre-recorded, you know, that, that the media is getting to see. And some of them have put them online. So a simple Google search or going to one of the tech blogs will get you those press conferences if you want to see them. 
All right, and as I told you guys before she came on, Andrea Smith is an award-winning technology journalist. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great year. Thanks, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.